Let's restart the class. So, uh, Wong Hye Jin, can you still remember the sentence? <laughs> Maybe I'll ask you next week again. Thursday or next week? Next month? Don't forget. So, socially inclusive means including all people. Okay, so there's some problem. If we have economic growth, but we have inequality, that's a problem in the US. Big problem in the US, right? Bernie Sanders and Don Trump are getting votes because they feel there's some unequal distribution of wealth. Okay? Some people get very rich, some people don't have anything. That's not making the world a better place, right? Environmentally sustainable, of course, some people don't believe in global warming, they think it's all just a joke, right? But if we don't, if we just use up everything in the world, then we can, we won't survive, right? 20,000 years ago, the Neanderthals killed all the mammoths. Do you understand mammoth? Mammoths? Mm -hmm. Mammoth? Big hairy elephant. Yes, they hunted all the mammoths. They think. Mammoths. This, this kind of thing. All right? They're all gone now because the people killed them all. Then they had no food left. Right? They weren't that smart in those days. So. We don't want that to happen again. We don't want to eat all the fish or use up all the land or use up all the water. Okay? And we want to grow the economy so people can uh, develop their lives. Right? Do you know the Islamic State of Iran? 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 Iran doesn't care about economic growth. Right? They don't have economic growth written in their constitution or any documents because they're a very religious state. And they think the important thing is just to live in the religious way and don't worry about growing the economy. Okay? But other, most other countries, they have economic growth is a very important part of their strategy. Countries like Brazil, China, because of the economic growth, they were able to pull a lot of people out of poverty. Okay? Do you understand to pull people out of poverty? In China, they, they had a lot of people who were living on less than one US dollar a day. Okay? But nowadays, the number is much smaller. Why? Economic growth helped them. Okay? The economy grows, we can invest more money in education, invest more money in healthcare, people live longer, get better education. Okay? So these days, economic growth is seen as a magic bullet for helping countries. So we want economic growth. But can we have economic growth which includes everybody and doesn't hurt the environment? Discuss with your partner. Is it possible to have economic growth which is it includes everybody and doesn't hurt the environment or not possible? So discuss with your partner. Is it possible or not possible? What do you think? Is it possible to have economic growth do you understand economic growth? Yes. GDP, goods and services, increase every year. Is it possible to have economic growth uh, while including everybody and not harming the environment? Possible or not possible? Discuss with your partner. <laughs> Okay. Hands up. Who says possible? Yes, it's possible. Who says no, it's impossible? It's impossible, right? So anyway, we have to... That's what the world government wants to do. Right? Obama and all the governments want to do. They want to solve this problem. Okay? What's your suggestion? Solve the problem. How can we do that? Anyone have a suggestion? How can we have economic growth which doesn't hurt the environment and includes everybody? Hmm? 
Why? So severe. What is it? What is it? Some money. Compensation. For who? For the society. You mean if you're doing a lot of pollution, you have to pay money? But then the, or some people will say to you, then all the companies are going to close down. They can't afford to run their business. They'll fire their workers. Well, anyway, good suggestion, right? That kind of, those kind of ways, right? We can balance, but there's always a counter argument. But like, for example, recently they made a big thing about investing in renewable energy, right? Increasing the investment in renewable energy, that kind of thing. So we have to talk about that and see. So we have to talk about these kind of questions. What causes economic growth? Why do we have poverty? And why does poverty continue? Do you understand poverty? Yes? What happens when billions of people are suddenly interconnected through markets, technology, finance, and social networks? Globalization. Is there a way to combine economic development and environmental sustainability? So we're going to discuss about those questions. So the world population continues to rise rapidly by about 75 to 80 million people per year. So in the past, uh, we only had 1 billion people 100 years ago, right? Now it's 7 billion, just 100 years, population increased that much. It's going to continue growing quickly, 8 billion up to 9 billion. The world economy is very big, growing quickly, by 3 to 4% every year. Which countries are growing faster? China. Developed or developing countries? Developing. Developing. Emerging economies are growing faster. Okay? It is highly unequal in the distribution of income within countries and between countries. So within countries, in the US, some people are earning a lot of money. They talk about the top 1%. Even in China, they have top 1%, right? Is earning much more, and it's getting worse in the US. The CEO's salary is like 50 times or 100 times higher than the normal worker. And maybe 20 years ago, it was just two times higher or three times higher, right? So it's getting worse. Uh, the po there is unequal distribution between countries. So countries like the US are kind of getting richer, right? And con other con poor countries might be staying the same or not increasing. The poorest of the poor face the challenges of insufficient nutrition, lack of health care, unsafe shelter, and the lack of safe dr drinking water and sanitation. I took a course on, also took a course on Coursera about that kind of area. Uh, the poverty, global poverty, right? And one interesting thing I learned about that was the nutrition in that course was about the nutrition. So a lot of people can't work well because they don't eat, eat properly. They don't eat enough and they don't eat enough vitamins and minerals and so on. So since that time I started to improve my diet. I started eating a lot of spinach and other things like that. Mm, because uh, they did the research and they found that in some of the countries where people don't eat enough, they give them some cod liver oil tablet, right? That kind of thing. Some tablet from the fish oil, which has a lot of vitamins and minerals, right? And then the people have more energy and they can perform better. Their brain, your brain works better when you have those kind of vitamins and minerals, right? So it's a very simple thing, but even though they give them the very cheap tablet, oil, fish oil tablet, people don't take it, right? So there's a problem with nutrition. People don't have the education to know enough about their nutrition, what they should be eating, what they shouldn't be eating. So that even though it's very cheap, they don't take the tablets or they don't eat the, that kind of thing, right? So we all need to make sure we get enough a proper diet to, to perform well in our life, in our work and in our study. Okay? So, Sometimes people can't afford to buy meat or fruit, those kind of things, right? So at least they need to take some supplements. Do you understand supplement? Uh, 
On shelters, on safe shelters, we have a lot of, uh, do you know, favela, favela, in South America? Have, has anybody been to South America? In, in developing countries, we have a lot of uh, favelas. Favela is like illegal house, building houses illegally. A lot of, most South American cities have favelas. This is Sao Paulo in Brazil. This is a favela, right? So, just, we can see the skyscraper, but these people just build their own house without any planning permission. Do you understand planning permission? The government doesn't give any permission to build a house. So we can end up with houses like this, right? And they build all the house around the city. And the problem is they have no ownership right. They have no ownership right of these houses, right? So this is the city, right? And then these are just people just built their house without any permission from the government, illegally, okay? They don't own the land. They have no asset because they don't own the house, okay? It's a problem. Buenos Aires, Sao Paulo, Caracas, Venezuela, those kind of cities, they have a lot of level. In India, in Mumbai, in other cities, they also have a lot of favela type, slum dwelling, shelter problem, okay? Uh, <coughs> sanitation is just uh, clean, clean cleanliness. What about the environment? Uh, humanity is changing the Earth's climate. The availability of fresh water, the chemistry of the ocean, and the habitats of other species are all changing. Uh, the cycle of water is changing. Nitrogen and carbon cycles are having some problem. So we need one of the answers to this question is governance. How can we make all these things happen together? Well, one of the answers is good governance. Do you understand governance? We explained, right? Managing or governing properly. So governance has these core func functions, social services, such as healthcare and education, infrastructure, such as roads, ports and power, protection from crime and violence, promotion of basic science and new technology, and implementation of laws and regulations to protect the environment. But multinational companies are also important. Okay? We talked about there is no uh, world army. And there is no world government, really. There's the UN, but the UN doesn't have a legislative power. It can't force countries to do things. Uh, countries have to voluntarily accept the UN and vote for and accept the UN's uh, decisions. An example is the Kyoto Protocol. Do you know the Kyoto Protocol? Yes. All the countries make the agreement, but George Bush got a lot of funding from the oil companies. So just that happened just one year after he was elected. So he wanted to do a favor for the oil and energy companies he got a lot of money for the election from. So he said no Kyoto Protocol for the US. Okay? That's one reason why Donald Trump is popular in the US, because 